Yo, what's up YouTube and welcome back. I am Edwin the Comic Jabroni. In today's video, we are going to unbox a Comic Tom mystery mail call. And as you guys already know, that whenever I receive one of these mystery mail calls in the mail, I also like to review a bourbon. So, you're going to want to stick around and not miss this. Hey, so welcome back guys. Like I said, my name is Edwin, the Comic Jabroni. In today's video, we are going to unbox a mystery mail call. But I also like to do bourbon reviews whenever I unbox one of these mystery mail calls. And today's bourbon of choice is Noah's Mill. Hey, so if this is your first time watching the Comic Jabroni and you are a fan of these mystery mail call unboxings or you're a bourbon fanatic like myself, think about hitting that subscribe button because every month I am dropping a video where I unbox and I do a bourbon review. Join the hashtag Comic Jabroni Nation, guys. So Noah's Mill is a Kentucky bourbon distilled and bottled and Noah's Mills Distilling Company in Kentucky, duh. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour myself just a little bit in one of my beautiful Glen Cairn glasses. Guys, I have talked about in the past how I am just a fan of drinking a good bourbon. So if you watch this review, I am not like other bourbon review channels where I get super deep into the smells and the tastes and smells like floral. I just give you my honest, unbiased opinion on it. Let that sit. That smells delicious. So I'm gonna un I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna show you what I got, and then we're gonna get into the review of the bourbon. <laughs> All right, so we got it opened up and here is the mysterious black bag right here. So guys, if you are not sure what a Comic Tom Mystery Mail Call is, this is a monthly subscription service to receive a package in the mail with between five or six random comics and you also get a print of a diff, you know, a different character that they throw in there. I have been subscribed to this Mystery Mail Call for the past year and a half I would say as of right now they grandfathered me into the price point that I was getting it at before which was $19.99 I believe the price has gone up so I'm not exactly sure if maybe it is worth the price but some months I will say they are putting out a Comic Tom exclusive variant and for and, and when I say some months they're doing it every month but some months those variants are worth way more than other variants are, especially last month and two months ago with Thor number one and Wolverine issue number one. I know those on eBay were selling for like 45 to $50 right out the gate. I don't know if they're worth that much anymore, but they probably are. Let me give this a... So you definitely smell some burnt oak on this. Little orange peel too. Man, let's give it a good old taste test. Ooh. So I will tell you, this is a much stronger bourbon. It is 57, 57.15% alcohol. I don't know exactly know how they get the 0.15%, but it is definitely a stronger bourbon than what I have been reviewing in the past, but I have to say that this is delightful. So you get this burn throughout, but damn, it is just so, it's just so flavorful. There's a cinnamon taste in there, a little bit of toffee, and then you get that oakiness. Man, that is some good stuff right there. So let's go ahead, open up this mystery mail call. Let me show you what I got. Make sure we turn that over so don't we don't see or I don't see. And we're gonna go from the top down to the bottom. First book up, I will show you guys. And it is Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda, issue number three. God loves Moon Kills. I know that my boy Wolf Warner has definitely been picking this up. 
My boy Wolf has been picking these up. He's been saying that Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda is a great read. Next up, we've got... Oh, the Silver Surfer, issue number 50. Man, that is some 90s goodness right there with the embossed cover and all the shininess on there. There we go. I am uh, not a big collector and fan of Silver Surfer. I have hardly any books in my collection of Silver Surfer. You know, only maybe two or three. Here's the next one. And we've got Power Man and Iron Fist, issue one. 21 some bronze age greatness i love i absolutely that is one of my favorite i know there's people out there that love the golden age there's people out there that love modern and silver i love some bronze age comics batman detective comics spider-man i love bronze age man let's keep it going there's the next book for you and that is alpha flight issue 36 some mike mignola greatness right there i see the mignola down at the bottom Oh boy, oh boy, I love this cover. There you go, Alpha Flight. I don't know if that's a key or not. And here is a postcard that you get every month. This month it is done by, hmm, Artist Piper? Yeah, Artist at Artist Piper. So on the back of it, it does tell you about the mystery mail call. Yo, comic fam, thank you as always for supporting the show and being part of our comic community. We've got some exciting new stuff for you in this month's box. So really dig that. I love they've been having these uh, these postcards in these uh, boxes forever since the very beginning. Here is the art print from Artist Piper, that Catwoman right there. I did get in these art prints. I use them on my uh, my opened boxes, my, my long boxes and uh, short boxes. Let's keep it going. This feels like uh, maybe the best of the bunch. I'll show you the Marvel Mystery Mail Call Comic Tom variant of the month, and that is Spider-Woman issue number one. This just released, I don't know, two weeks ago. I did not pick it up because I knew that I was getting it in the Mystery Mail Call, so I really like that cover right there and let's see what the big the big book because I, I can tell this is in a like a uh you know one of those fancy bags and boards and that is amazing spider-man 333 eric larson greatness right there with venom fighting spider-man oh i like that i think this is my second copy of this book anytime that you can get Anytime you can get Venom on a cover fighting Spider-Man, that is awesome. So this has sat for a little bit. Let's taste it again. Yeah, still smell the oak. A little bit of orange. That's some good, that's good stuff right there. Yeah, this... It's smooth, but you have a little bit of a burn because the alcohol content is, you know, it's higher than normal. Usually with a bourbon, you're getting that 45 to 50% alcohol, but in this one, you're getting 57.15, and it is damn delicious. Mmm. Oh, wow. So what is this bottle gonna run you right here? Uh, it should retail anywhere between 50 to $55. Not a very difficult bourbon to find. You should be able to find it at your local liquor stores. But really, in all honesty, it's a higher end bourbon as far as the price goes. You can find really good bourbons at cheaper price points from $15 to $20. And if you're not a huge bourbon fan like I am, you might not go for this bottle. But what I can tell you is, if you want a really nice bottle of bourbon that you only open up on, you know, every once in a while, when you have friends or something over, you wanna give them something really nice, then this might be a bottle that you have in your collection just to break out on occasions like that. For a daily driver, I do not suggest this bottle just because the price point is so high you can pay for a $20 bottle a $15 bottle of bourbon and you can drink that every day and remember as I always say it's scientifically proven that bourbon helps lose the brain stem so drink your bourbon every day drink it neat drink it on the rocks drink it with whatever you want you want to know why 
because it's your bourbon, guys. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed this Comic Tom Mystery Mail Call unboxing. Got some great stuff. As always, guys, I love getting these mystery mail calls because it feels like Christmas every time. I can't wait to open them up, unbox them, show you what I got. I will continue to support Comic Tom in buying these. I know there are a ton of mystery boxes out there and... Sometimes they're hit, sometimes they're missed. A lot of people either love them or they hate them. There's really no in-between on this. So, not entirely sure. Let me know. Do you guys pick up the mystery mail call? And I'm not going to let it go because of the price point that I'm at. Getting these variants in the mail is definitely worth it for me. If I wanted to go out and, you know, go and sell just that Spider-Woman number one, I'd probably make my money back and more. So, what's coming up on the Comic Jabroni's YouTube channel tomorrow. I will be dropping my Daredevil trade paperback review. This Born Again uh, trade that was a okay to me by John's Comics with Kids. I will be reviewing that. I will have John on the show to help review that with me. I also have another trade that I'm going to be reading and reviewing. Why the Last Man? So. Stay tuned for all the great Comic Jabroni content. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below. Have you gotten a Comic Tom mystery mail call? If so, let me know. Did you get some fire? But until next time, I'm Edwin, the Comic Jabroni. Remember to drink your bourbon neat, drink it on the rocks, drink it however you want. Take it easy. Peace. It's over 9,000!